Hello, it is Maven, and I feel like doing on a very, very cinematic voice. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do a bank heist on Payday 2. Stealthily. Specifically the gold one, because the gold one's better. I would not suggest being a cheap mofo if you're going to do this for a low price. So I'm going to go to... Wow. Um, I would do that one, but... Actually, yeah. Alright, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna be a greedy mother hugger. And I'm gonna do this overkill by using my bank account thingy. The funny thing is, I'm now offshore account, my bad. Alright, so you're gonna go and buy a bank contract, bank high school, or if you found it, you're gonna play it. And this is by yourself. I will. Actually, really, there's no point in me showing you how to do it with friends, because with friends, it's really the same thing. All you just got to do is get your friends to, like, sit on the camera. Yeah, just sit on the camera and use them as extra people, just in case it doesn't want to normally needs to go. Shut up, freaking elephant or whoever your name is. Um, Alright, I'm going to show you a few things with this. Okay, none of this is important, except for... Body packs. Unless you got friends. If you have bad friends, it doesn't matter. So I would buy that. Um, but um, this is what you're really, really going to want to pay attention to. If it's if you come in the bank, whatever way you come in, um, you're gonna want to really pay attention to where the vault is. If the vault is right there, then this whole hold on I'm drawing it's very this whole area right there is useless all right if you're in this area well the whole bank well that's not the whole bank you, you know what I mean um yeah but um besides that the other important thing is to remember that the manager's key is either going to be this office or walking around out here or up oh, up yeah but um or around out back here just you need to remember that this is the main route very roughly drawn but it's the main route that the where did my phone that the manager might take well um yeah and uh security room also all right third most important thing third thing you're gonna want to keep a pin attention, pay attention to. Um, security room, security room. That's what the key card plays into. And yes, the security room is important. And no, the security room is not important because actually, mm, it's very important to keep it alive until you really need to get rid of it. There's two spots where there's gonna be a camera, and um, front of the bank is right here. There's going to be a back room, and there's like a 50-50 chance of there being a camera right there. Right there. And um, if we were to go up to the rooftop, there would be one. Well, this isn't a very good detail drawing, but somewhere up in that area. And uh, those are very essential because you could really lure a guard up there and then kill them. Assuming you have a suppressor or or if you have a... um, What's the skill called? Ugh. <sighs> Or if you have that skill where you can get people on the ground. I'm sorry, I can't remember it. Um, yeah, and uh, drawing tools. Let me get rid of that. And yeah, those are the things you want to remember. Now, it's if you really don't... Uh, I probably should have said this before. If you don't want to see me go through this, just go ahead and skip for it. But um, vault access. Say it's right there. And uh, you need to get down all the civilians in this area. Bleh. And remember, there's always going to be a person out here. Every time I play with a friend, I always get one guy, just specifically one guy, to pay attention to that dude out there. Because he will bolt, or he will lay down. Well, he never really bolts. He'll just lay down and then call the cops. But he is very essential to get down. And um, there's a few people right there. Sometimes there's a little dude right there. And there's sometimes people right there. Actually, th those people right there aren't always there. But um, 
the main people you want to take down first are the people in here. You can be like me and just pop them in the face like I normally do, which makes you lose money. But if you're doing a gold bank ice, it really don't matter. You get a crap ton of money anyways. But you want to make sure you take down those people because they there's little buttons under the desk right there, and they will hit it. There's a button. There's two buttons. There's several buttons under there, under the little table right there. There's a button right here. And there's another button somewhere which I don't remember. I think. I don't know. But um, yeah. That's basically the main thing you need to remember whenever you play. And people like to walk all along there. And sometimes there'll be a dude that walks in. But um, people, there's like maybe two or three civilians that'll walk along that way. And you could just either really hide your hostages and make it not obvious and try to sneak past them. Or you can stab them, shoot them. Tie them down if you have the ties. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. It's it's really this is a flexible thing. And um, yeah, let's uh, get this started. Loadout. Uh, you're gonna make sure you have a suppressed gun. It doesn't need to be too suppressed. And I, my personal opinion, not opinion, but my personal preference is I prefer to keep my detection risk 20 and below. Cause if it's anywhere over 20, I feel like you wouldn't have enough time to go across certain areas and um, same thing for the secondary you uh, really all you need is one suppressed weapon but I like to have two because I can really kinda get ranged with that and um, two piece suit you don't really need armor because if you add armor you, you become like super detected you, you get the idea and um, melee weapon eh, it don't really matter None of it, if none of it affects your concealment except for the baseball bat. Um, yeah. I don't suggest using the money thing though. ECM jammers, very useful. Very, very, very useful. You always want ECM jammers. And um, yeah, I'm gonna turn up the track so you guys can hear me. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. I don't really care. Okay, folks. My inside man. All right, let's get this started. Okay, first thing I do, check to see if the manager is back. Ah, yeah. Uh, camera, camera. Remember I said something about that. Very helpful. Actually, I don't typically use that camera, but uh, I might. Okay, I can already see that this is going to be a very difficult bank ice because the vault's right there. There's a camera right there. Manager, camera, guards going out back, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to kill him. Guard, and there's three people up here, and and another guard. And there's that panic button I was talking about, and he's starting to notice makes out in his face. All right, so I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this opportunity to take out a guard. And are you gonna go up there? All right. And there's no camera up here, so really, it's a good idea for me to take this guy out while I have a chance, because I'm only gonna be able to lure one more person with the other camera. So I'm gonna shake him in the booty. Oh balls. And you're always gonna want to make sure you get the pagers, because if you don't, just, I don't hear that's him. obvious. Um, I suggest getting the smooth talker skill, and uh, you should be good from there. And uh, I'm not gonna bag the corpse because he seems like he's in a pretty concealed spot. I have more body bags over there, so if I really felt like it was necessary, I would. But um, one thing I'm gonna add to this is um, I'm not gonna. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I should have checked for the key card. I'm sorry. Uh, what you need to do is you need to run into the manager's office, which is the little one of the little areas that circled in the pre-planning, and you need to check and see if there's a key card. And with that key card, you get access to the security room, which will get rid of all the cameras, allowing you to take down any extra guards and uh, get down any civilians that would see that. But um, since I skipped that step, ooh, and I can't really do it, I'm going to. Um, use my ECM jammers to open the guard door and here's a perfect opportunity uh, example of what I meant by you get lure guards see I'm gonna shoot this I'm gonna shoot this camera and in about 10 freaking years there should be a guard that wants to come up well not wants but is asked to come up here and check out the camera since he can't come out mm, since he can't come out oh balls yeah they're civilians so don't go hopping around like I am if there is a chance that oh, a chance that that door is open, then you want to be careful, because 
they will take that way out. There's that guard I was talking about. Actually, no, it's not. That's not the guard I was talking about. Weird. And, um, I'm gonna take him down real quick with my toothbrush. Answer his pager. Keep an eye on that door, because I don't know if this is the guard they asked to come up here. And, um, I'm gonna answer the pager, and I'm you bet. Well, I'm stuttering. Don't know why. Uh, don't need a. Well, I might need to hide his body. I don't know. I don't believe so. I, I, I don't think I need to hide that body. And um. Uh. Since this door is closed, they won't go out this back door to go to that camera. Actually, I've rarely. I don't even think I've ever had a, a guard go out that back door to get to the camera. That's what I meant by you wouldn't be able to get across some small spaces. I'm gonna take the guard, this manager down. Because I want to show you guys the. It's like a 50 chance, 50 50 chance of the guard having the key card. If the guard has a key card, you're very lucky. Well, he didn't already notice me, but I thought he did. Um, my detection. Yeah, he has a key card. So, looks like I don't have to waste the ECM jammer. Um, even if you do have the ECM jammer, I do suggest that you tr at least check the guard, I mean, the manager for the uh, key card. Because with only two or one ECM jammer, you could really actually get some extra money by just saving the ECM jammers, getting the key card, and then using these two ECM jammers to open up the uh, ATMs. And most of you, if you're new and you're watching this, you probably don't have the skills to open the door yet with your ECM jammers. So having a key card would be very beneficial. And um, I'm not sure you guys why it'd be very beneficial. And um, Yes, I am new to this game on PC. I used to play it a lot on Xbox. The update came out on Xbox. Instantly adapted to it because I was a stealther from the start of Payday whenever I started playing it on Xbox. And then shortly after they updated I got an Xbox One. They play an Xbox One. I haven't played Payday much, so I got it for PC. And I felt like I should show you guys now that I could record because I don't record my 360. And, um... Check both ways, make sure there's no guard. The camera's up there. Actually, no civilians really like watch me. Oh no. Key card. There we go. Five million options. I'm gonna take this guy out. You can get him on his knees. Uh it used to be, at least on the Xbox, if you took him on his knees, he could still access the cameras, which really doesn't make sense to me. But you know I'm gonna answer his pager. I don't really I'm not too worried about his body being sprawled out across the floor because I've taken plenty of guards down in that spot. I'm gonna check up here for. Go on, go away. But uh, I'm gonna check up here to make sure that guard's not coming back over. Nope, he's not. Those, oh, that guy's over there. I mean, actually, there might not even be any guards left. I don't know. Maybe. It... Okay. <sighs> Uh, there's a lot of sprinting involved with this. I know you guys are probably like, oh, he's sprinting back and forth. This is boring. Um, stealthing isn't exciting. It's actually, well, it's it's exciting when you're having fun and you screw up something and you, yeah, whatever. Um, wow. Oh no, there's one guard. Uh, I would typically say don't use the cameras because I'm used to someone else watching the cameras for me. In the normal, normally it's it's J9 sword. But, uh, it looks like he's gonna come back my way. Tits. I could. I could really. I could shoot him, take down the two people behind the counter, and then. <sighs> that means that, uh. I could shoot him, take down the two people behind the counter, and then place an ECM jammer, and then none of the people could call, and I could answer his pager, and then I could get everyone down. Or, actually, there's no more. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, if I fuck this up, I'll restart and redo this. What am I doing? Whatever. All right. Now no one's gonna answer the pay. I mean, call the cops, and I'm gonna take this time to answer the pager. Uh, it's oh, they're running. Oh my god. Looks like I don't know how they called the police with the ECM jammer out. Anyways, uh, let me restart this. <laughs> but uh, you guys get the main idea. You would kill all the guards, get to the last guard, come out, and then place the drill after you have everyone in here down, and then voila. Um, 
Give me a second, let me just warp to another uh, clip of me playing this. Okay. Alright guys, hello. This is only my uh, third time of redoing this because I fucked it up two times and... I don't know what my deal is. But um, yeah alright, let me just pretend like none of that ever happened. Um, alright, I can already see two guards. Um... Three guards. Key card is mm, in here. All right, good. Um, you're going to want to make sure that if the key card's in here, you either you, you take out these two cameras in here. Thank God they're here this time. You take out these two cameras, and then you make sure you don't get chased down by a guard like I'm about to. Um, and then that gives you the opportunity to take down the civilians in here. Uh, grab the key card, and oh my Jesus. Grab the keycard and bail to the uh, security room, which I'm not going to do because uh, it's really not a good example for me not to be doing it, but uh, I don't want to fuck this up again. If I ever do it and, you know, you get the idea. Anyways, I'm going to fast forward from here and as you can see now, I'm actually taking this camera as a bait. But I'm going to fast forward through here, and if there's anything that catches my interest that I think you guys should be aware of, I will most definitely slow it down and explain it to you. Alright, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll be speaking again whenever this goes back to normal speed. Alright, um, actually, while I was sitting here waiting, I remembered. Um, I want to make sure I really want to emphasize how important it is that whenever you kill a guard up up there you be careful if you don't have the shinobi that you do not kill him directly above the security room cuz I don't know how I don't know what causes it but somehow the security guard inside of this room can like he can hear through a roof like I mean this roof it's like about as thick as this line up and he can still hear through it I don't like I said I don't know why but I really want you guys to know that doing that will completely just ruin your chances of finishing this because it will stealth. Because it will um, not only alert the guard, he will call the police and you'll have to fight off very difficult waves of overkill enemies. <sighs> That's rare. Um, I'm not going to say I suggest doing this be because... Um, while you're doing this, a civilian could walk by, and there could be a guard up there looking at the camera right now. But, um, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna continue fast forward. I don't know why I stopped. Oh, sh Wow, I was about to fast forward it, and there's that guard. That should be the guard. Yeah, that is the... No. What the f... This is weird. I'm never... I've never had this happen enough. Okay, anyways, like you, like I've said, well, I never actually said this, but I'm going to say it now. You never know what could happen in a uh, bank heist. I've had situations that I've never thought would have happened. Like, uh, once again, this could be another event where the guard's up there checking the camera any second now, and I fuck it up because I'm doing stupid things and being shocked by things that happen normally. I just got to hope now that the manager and or the guard does not walk out of that room to see that. There's two dead corpses rotting. And no manager. What I could do is, um. Guard! Alright. What I'm going to do is, since I have the ability with the ECM jammer, I'm not gonna do what I said. I, I would. I'm not gonna show you guys how to get the card just yet, but if there ever comes to a situation where I have, or will, or am doing it, I will definitely start recording, or if I am recording, I will show you guys. But, uh, in this, you know, swing of events, I'm not going to. And I'm actually going to keep an eye on the manager and the guard right here to make sure they do not go out back that way. And I'm scared that guard's going to go out that way. And I feel like the manager is coming this way. No, he's going into that room. Which is not a bad thing. I could go in there and tie him down. Just kidding. I don't think he's gonna stay there. He's a, that back room is a hot spot for getting the manager and or guards down. That is probably one of the most 
used spots from anyone I've ever met that I ever stole this game. Why is he going back in there? But, um, Guys, yeah. Why are you going back in here? Oh! I'm taking this moment to shank him. Alright, he... Why did I do that? He doesn't have the key card. It's not that important. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm acting up right now. I'm acting up right now. I'm doing dumb things. Ugh. Alright. Come on, I gotta get back on the steady pace. Okay. Had to make sure that guard wasn't going in the back room. Those guards do go in the back room, and you gotta be very careful if you do something like what I just did. Alright, um. Now we're just gonna wait. I'm gonna fast forward this. Um, don't know how long. I haven't been fast forwarding this, but, uh, yeah. Alright, I'm just going to inform you guys now that I have absolutely no effing idea where the guard went. He just vanished. And I'm very worried. <laughs> oh, well, there he is. Hello. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on him. <laughs> and I'm going to continue fast forward on this. I just want to let you guys know. Um, one thing I wanted to tell you guys, I uh, probably already said it, but um, since this vault is not in this front area, these guys are still going to be here the whole time. I'm like still in the gold, but this I'm going to make sure that that guard goes down. The people, the two people behind the cubicle wall right there are going to go down. Oh no, they're not going to go down. They're going to stay up. But these two people on like closest to the camera, they are going to. Oh my God, yes, they're going to go down. Uh, the two people behind are gonna go down, and how you take them down really doesn't matter. You can, for all I care, you could shoot them. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this guard. I'm gonna make sure these two people are tied down before I go and answer that pager, because they will get up and run and just ruin it. And I'm gonna run over here, cause you don't need to rush these. Make sure you keep your freaking finger on the F, cause whenever I went to go answer in the last one I was gonna record, I let go of the F and it ruined it. Yeah. God! But, um, from here you can pretty much say to yourself, I did it. You, uh, you now have robbed the. You now have officially robbed this bank. Well, no. Not officially. You gotta still drill it. But this is the really. The anti. The, the, the cli This is the. The, 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 the falling. I don't know. I'm not good at English. Um, this is the point where you really just. Go make yourself a cup, a uh, cup of coffee, or a cup of tea, or a cup of Oreo milk. If that's a thing, Oreo milk, Oreos and milk. There we go. Um, Cause really, all you gotta do now is just bag, drill, and wait. I don't know how the people in that area and the people in that area don't hear this, cause. You can clearly hear this from like a mile away. I can hear that from all the way over here. And there's like two, three brick walls, but I don't question pay date. But uh, I'm gonna fast forward this, and uh, yeah. Alright, um, the drill's nearly done here, 30 seconds, and um, I just wanted to make you sure you guys were aware of, uh, there's these little packages that you could find around here. They're, uh, the gauge, oh, key card, and money. Uh, there's these little uh, packages, gauge carrier packages, and um, they're hidden out around here. And I really wouldn't suggest flopping your body around looking for a uh, package unless you had everyone down. But um, yeah, these packages are very, very, very useful because there's probably a gate behind here. Yeah. Um, because uh. Oh my god, look at that whopping two pieces of gold. Well, two stacks of gold. But, um, these packages actually, uh, they give you more XP 
I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't really know. I don't. I don't have the DLC, and I don't really. I don't really know much about it. And um. Yeah. So uh, not really much. I could t oh my Jesus! Uh, not much I could tell. Oh, there they are. That's what, there's one. Not really much I could tell you. You'll mostly find them either back there, back there, possibly around that corner, back there, right there. Um. Uh, really anywhere. You just can't. Can't. There's another one. You can't tell yourself. Oh, there's not gonna be one here because there might possibly be one here, or there, or wherever you're looking. And, um, all I gotta tell you is, hey, there's one back there, I know there is. All I gotta tell you is just to make sure you just keep an eye out for them. Very useful. Oh, wow. Thanks, game. Making me look like an idiot. But, um, just keep an eye out for them, you know. And, uh, I guess I'll fast forward this until this is done. Alright, okay. Now the vault's open. I could be Mr. Boring and sit here and deposit, I mean, open all these deposit boxes, but, um, I don't have the patience for that, so, uh, if you do have a saw, once again, that's another situation, oh my god, it's way over there, that is another situation where you're going to have to get down everyone, everyone, oh my, oh, I thought it was glitching through the floor, that's another situation where I have to get down everyone on the other side of that wall, I passed that little line I drew, and, um, make sure they're not up to call the police, because they will indeed hear that, uh, saw, I think, I'm not sure, once again, I'm not a genius. I don't have a saw. I don't use saws. So I don't have experience in that. But, um, uh, yeah. And, um, just you want to make sure you get them down. And, uh, uh once again, let me, uh, fast forward this because carrying gold takes 10 years. Oh, all right. Okay. As you guys can now see, I have the gold loaded up, and I could either be a wimp dog, wimp dog. Who says that? I could be a wuss and uh, get in the van and ride off. But um, I want to show you guys something in case you actually are someone who, say, has a ECM jammer. And uh, let me go ahead and start this off with. This is very risky. I mean, it'll ruin your stealth bonus, but. It's, it's, if you fuck it up, it'll ruin the self bonus, but, um, it's, it's, like I said, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty good thing to do if you want more money, but, um, you're going to, what I would do is run here, pop these two douchebags, uh, you're going to go use the ECM jammer, hope to God nobody calls their phone that quick, and, um, you're going to open this, go ahead and get everyone on the ground, I guess. Don't really matter. I'm gonna grab that money and then freaking haul ass. And hope to god they don't call cops. Actually, I got the worst exit for that I, for what I'm doing right now. And eh, I made it. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's your uh, gold bank heist. Uh, I wish I could have showed you both variants of whether of how to do it. But um, I guess that's all I can really do for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you thought this was helpful, uh, or if you just like me above me um subscribe to the video i mean subscribe to the um youtube channel like the video put a comment saying oh thanks maven inferno or i'm just, you don't have to i'm joking but um yeah and uh be expecting more payday videos it's uh i know it's weird seeing maven if you're uh, a current watcher of our channel i know it's weird seeing maven make videos but uh yeah thank you for watching uh this has been maven maybe do the bastards and i'm out Oh,